how to use goal seek feature in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this intermediate Excel tutorial, I'm going to talk about how you can use the goal seek feature in Excel. It's inside the what if analysis and if you click on the data tab, you will find what if analysis and then you will find the goal seek. So we are going to find out the result. What if we change something inside our formula or something? So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> So let's understand the scenario here. We have mortgage amount of 200,000 and we have our interest rate of annually 6% and we have 120 months to pay that amount and this is our monthly payment and I have added a minus value here because the PMT function will always give you a negative value. Okay. Now, if you want to learn about the PMT function, you can check out this tutorial and we're going to stick to the goal seek feature in this tutorial. So let's see what it can do. Now, we know how much we have to pay each month, but let's say I don't want to pay this amount each month and the amount should be the same and the interest rate, I can change it, but I can change the duration. Okay. So what if we want to pay 1687 each month? then how long it will take to pay the entire mortgage amount usually we can change the value here manually let's say if we use 150 months then 1898 per month but we need to go to 1687 so let's see 200 oh no it's 1584 but it will take a lot of time to find out the exact amount. So we are going to use the goal seek feature. So select the cell we want to change. Okay. Under the data tab, click on what if analysis and then click on goal seek. Now here you will find the first parameter is set cell, which is B4 we have already selected. Now we want to change this value and here we have another cell it says to value. So we want to pay 1687 each month so it will change the cell b4 to 1687 and it will change only one cell inside your formula you can see we found this value using a formula okay so we are going to change the months okay so how long it will take if we pay 1687 each month to pay up the full mortgage amount of 200 thousand with an interest rate of six percent if i click ok and you can see it has given us 180 months okay that means it will take 15 years if we pay 1687 each month now there are two button here if i click ok it will change the amount to this value if i click here cancel you can see it didn't change anything okay now let's try again we want to pay 1432 each month okay click on what if analysis and click on goal seek and in the cell b4 we want to change the value to 1432 by changing the duration and if i click ok it will find that for me so it will take 240 months to pay up the total amount and interest if we pay 1432 each month okay now let's click OK and see what happens. If I click OK and you can see this amount is fixed here. It's not changing but our formula is same and the rest of the cell that were inside the formula is still the same. So now let's say I want to pay 1200 each month but I don't want the months to be changed. I want to change the interest rate. So. I'm going to select by changing cell and select this one now if I click OK and you can see if we want to pay $1,200 each month it will take 240 months it didn't change and 200,000 our mortgage amount it shouldn't change either but if we somehow manage the interest rate from 6 to 4 percent it is possible okay so this is how you can use the goal seek feature in Microsoft Excel. It will help you in what if analysis in Microsoft Excel and that's why it's inside the what if analysis menu. Okay. I hope you understand and I hope you like this tutorial. 
if you find this tutorial helpful please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to support the channel you can visit patreon.com slash excel 10 tutorial or you can use the new super thanks feature of youtube and it will help us a lot thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe